Hey guys, Chad Wesley Smith here for uh, JTSStrength.com just answering some questions that I got through our uh, Facebook page, the Juggernaut Training Systems page. Make sure you get over there and like that. Um, this question is from Andrew Weber. Andrew's asking about uh, the use of dumbbells for assistance work, saying you know, he just doesn't see me write much about, uh, about using dumbbells in the Juggernaut method or anything like that. You know, th there's no particular reason for that. I'm not against dumbbells uh, for any reason. You know, I do some different dumbbell pressing variations myself, and I definitely use them with my football players. Um, I think they're, you know, they're a tool just like anything else, and it's not like I'm going to be, oh, yeah, you got to use dumbbells for everything. You know, I think that's a bad trap that coaches fall into, uh, whatever the, the means is, you know, whether it's we're going to do all powerlifting stuff or we're going to do all Olympic lifting or, or all kettlebells or all this. If you're doing all of any one thing, I think, you know, you're really doing yourself or your athletes a disservice. Uh, you want to have as many tools in your toolbox as possible. Uh, but as far as the use of dumbbells, uh, yeah, go ahead. You know, all kinds of different pressing variations, usually my football guys. Um, <clears throat> and one thing that I've done a lot in the past is, is I always try and pair uh, whatever bench press variation I was doing that day with like a complementary um, complimentary dumbbell pressing variation. So let's say if we was going to do uh, two board press, um, heavy that day, then I would use something like dumbbell incline bench, uh, for high, for high reps. Cause with the, you know, you're in one, uh, the board press is a short range of motion, really targeting the triceps. Then in the, the incline bench, you can get that big range of motion, a good stretch and target the shoulders and kind of balance things out. So that's a good way to, to do stuff. You know, obviously dumbbells are good to use for all kinds of different, uh, unilateral lower body training lunges, step ups, split squats, all that sort of stuff. Um, and one thing that I really have been, been liking a lot recently, been using with my own training some and, and with my athletes, um, are mechanical drop sets, which is an idea I picked up from my boy, Josh Bryant, uh, joshstrength.com. Josh is a great guy. Super has helped me a ton with my, my training. And what we'll do is a mechanical drop set on a dumbbell incline bench. So you have to have an adjustable, bench for it, uh, of course. So what you do is you're going to go through three different inclines. So you're going to start on the steepest, you know, a real steep incline, not, not vertical, but one below that go until maybe one or two less than failure, sit up, have your training partner slide the bench back one. So now you're going from here, here. Now you're about this incline. You go again, one or two shy of failure, sit up and move the bench down again to where it's like just above a flat bench. So the lowest incline and just rep it out right there. Uh, it's a you know real good way to, to build up work capacity and those kind of mechanical drop sets you know young athletes someone needs to put on size definitely a good option dumbbells I think are uh, you know great for the bodybuilding kind of stuff um, yeah so you know go ahead go for it.